we don't brew our beer for people that can't drink. It's great that it's there for those people. We brew it for beer drinkers. This is the best part is that a lot of our tastings, we take our beer and we just say, hey, do you want to try some beer from our brewery? And people try it and love it and don't even know it's not alcoholic beer. Um, the, and that's kudos to our brewers, not to me. I take no credit for that. Started one for the road, I guess five years ago as a self-fulfilling idea because I stopped drinking about, I don't know, back in 2006, I guess. Started to support a friend who was stopping and then it just turned out to be a good life choice. I had a good relationship with drinking and alcohol prior to that, but I realized in a year of not drinking that there was more pros and cons. I had a young family and it was a, a good idea for me. I, missed good beer and I watched the craft beer industry go crazy and wanted to be part of that and wanted to be able to have good beer to drink and saw a business opportunity in that so took that on with a friend and we started one for the road it's been a blast for the last five years you know the logo itself is is Kevin here and I just we certainly knew that this brand was going to be something for an active population of people that were health conscious and beer drinkers we were all those things. And so we looked at a logo that kind of told that story. Kevin and I happened to bike a lot together, so it was an easy thing to put on there. But I think that the, the bike represents activity. It represents fun. You know, there's the saying, it's just like riding a bike. Everybody knows what that means. Everybody understands that. Most people know how to ride a bike and it, and it means something to them and it's fun and it's their childhood and it's, it's, um, it's active and it's healthy and it's good for the environment and it's so many different things. But we wanted to get, capture all those things on the logo and uh, I think we did a good job of it. Brand creation's been a big part of this and I've really enjoyed being able to bring different styles and varieties of beer to non-alcoholic beer. The branding itself has been fun. There's a different story on every can. This is my original business partner, Kevin. Uh, we got him on the on one. This is actually me biking near my cabin in Invermere. My wife herself is actually on this can. You know, people got to be careful. A friend of mine shared this picture with me a long time ago, a good friend of mine named Alex. Sure enough, it showed up on a can and we were playing hockey together and I, I brought them in and handed them out and he was pretty surprised to see himself as a young buck on a beer can. So we've had a lot of fun with it, a lot of opportunities to have fun with it and bring out stories and create a culture. Thanks to all the good people in, in my life that uh, have provided those stories for me. As far as the, the company itself, we love seeing growth in the segment, in the non-alcoholic segment. We love bringing a good product and a good brand to the market. Certainly, we love being part of the of the community. And for now, 90% of our sales are in Western Canada. We can do a lot of our marketing and, and community involvement in that area, which is great. We work with a few different uh, charities, including uh, Woodridge Mountain Bike Society and Two Wheel View and Chef Cycle, different things like that that are close to the area. They all have to do with bikes and activities and community involvement and it's been fun to be part of for sure. So the beauty of these products is that they can, can be sold anywhere. They can be sold in uh, liquor stores and beer stores, um, in grocery stores, in restaurants, in bars, they can be in community centers, they can be at movie theaters, they can be, there's all sorts of places that take us on. Opportunities are endless. We actually sell them online and our website as well. And we want to make sure that it's as, in, as, as available to customers as we can make it. You know, I always joke that it's it's called one for the road because you can drink it while you're driving to work in the morning. You can drink it while you're coming home from a, a trail. You can drink it while you're taking your kids to hockey and it's okay, right? And that uh, it creates more opportunities to drink more beer for beer lovers. One thing I've probably struggled with is turning one for the road into a, a, a bigger thing. Um, my, my background is in owning physiotherapy clinics and that's a very community-based company. This is something that's gonna to have to be national or international to be able to expand and grow to where I think it deserves to grow. And that's been challenging for me. So I'm slowly bringing on people in, in the company that understand and know those challenges and can help me out with them. Probably outdone expectations with the company already. Now we understand where it can go and we think that this product and this brand deserves that. It started out as a, a hobby and again a self-fulfilling brew of beer so I have a cool beer to drink kind of endeavor and uh, for it to turn into something bigger is just fun to be part of. I don't brew. I, I think back in university I brewed a couple beers that were, were horrible but they were consumed completely at the time. <laughs> 
made some really good partnerships at the beginning. A, a contract brewer here in Calgary. We met with Last Bite. They were great to work with. They had obviously a fantastic facility and expertise in the industry, which we were lacking and needing. They've been nothing short of enthusiastic of our business since the beginning. We've appreciated their belief in what was at the, the time relatively new. They've been great in helping us develop a product that we can be really proud of and stand behind. The styles themselves, we've kind of talked to them about what we're looking for, what we want, what, uh, and, and they've been super helpful in helping us develop the recipes and brew the beer. I can't express enough how much I appreciate my relationship I've had with them over the last five years. Without them, this is just an idea with no product. They've been awesome, so we've been really lucky with some of the relationships we've built. It all comes down to good people that we've had those opportunities to, to work with. We've had great success, winning some, uh, winning some great awards. Four of our different beers have uh, won awards at different award shows in the last uh, couple of years. Canada Beer Cup and Canadian Brewery Awards, uh, Prairie Beer Awards. So it's been, that part's been a lot of fun as well. And as much as I go and accept the awards and uh, give the speech, a big part of that is doing thanks to my partners here at Last Bite. It's just been great. Our most successful beer has probably been our Kolsch, and it was our flagship beer. It's the first one that we did. We've had a ton of success with that. Once we produced that and had success with that, we realized we can make good tasting non-alcoholic beer. Then the gloves were off, right? Then we had the confidence to go out and try different things. It has been a really fun thing to do, for sure, right? Right from the beginning, we were understanding who this was for, and, and how we were gonna get it in front of those people. And we've been lucky to have the partners we've had, lucky to have the support we've had, and, and not only just the support of those helping us produce it and sell it, but those people that are our customers that stand and, and tell everybody how great it is. That's been a really rewarding part is to help, um, you know, in some cases, change lives and make people really comfortable with their situation and, and uh, be able to enjoy beer uh, as much as I enjoy beer.